long after Wednesday's 9 p.m. deadline, and lines of South African voters could still be seen snaking their way into polling stations across the country. Spirits remained high, though, as voters participated in the democratic process. Our vote is something that we fought for, so I will definitely wait here for as long as it takes to vote. Here on Robben Island, the same prison that once held Nelson Mandela, Bongeka Nglanga voted for the first time. Freedom was, I can say, birth in this island. So being here and voting here is just such a great thing ever. While passing without serious incident, the day was still checkered by protests, power outages and lengthy technical delays, as voters also became confused over the amount of choices available. Nonetheless, election officials made note of the turnout. It will probably be well uh, beyond what we had, uh, the 66 percent we had in 2019. One of those in a more bullish mood was the country's president, Solo Ramaphosa, as he dropped his ballot in Soweto. The people of South Africa will give the ANC, as they vote today, a firm majority. There isn't even a doubt about that. Recent polls, though, have put the ruling ANC at less than 50 per cent for the first time since 1994, leaving others with a kingmaker role in their sights. For the first time in 30 years, there's an opportunity for change in South Africa at a government level. We are here to take over government. That's where our target is. With counting underway, final results are likely to be known by Sunday, after which Parliament has two weeks to choose South Africa's next president. Well, a volcano.